GDDR6 has a release date, and Intel just might be bringing a huge update. Lastly, Call of Duty? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. GDDR6 is officially moving close to release and has been slated to launch with actual GPUs in early 2018. SK Hynix is the first to fully unveil the memory and has a quote, forthcoming high-end graphics card of 384-bit IOs, this DRAM process up to 768 gigabytes of graphics data per second. SK Hynix has been planning to mass produce the product for a client to release high-end graphics card by early 2018. So. For one, a bandwidth of 16 gigabit per second, which is how they got to the 768 gigabytes per second, is a decent speed bump from the 11 gigabits per second bandwidth of Micron's latest GDDR5X and the 1080 Ti. And considering it should be quite a bit cheaper than, say, HBM type memory, this could make for a very competitive card at a nice price. Of course, the important question remains, who are they referring to? In my mind, we have a few possibilities. First, that it's Volta, but that is actually a little odd as NVIDIA was to bring stacked memory for Volta. Of course, there's probably been issues with their competitor to HBM. Second, that it's an NVIDIA card that isn't for the gaming market. And lastly, a slim chance that it could be the Vega 11 GPU, which is rumored to be more around the mid to high end range. Volta seems to be the most likely scenario and would be in line with when insiders seem to think NVIDIA should be ready for release. We all but know for sure from numerous leaks that Intel is moving quickly on their upcoming enthusiast line of chips, and we've learned quite a bit. But what about their more mainstream SKUs? Have I got some news for you. Originally reported by WCCF Tech, but it is at least somewhat substantial, definitely keep in mind that we don't know for a fact that it is an i5, and it's best to hold off too much enthusiasm until we know. But either way, a new processor was spotted on the SI software database. It was a 6-thread, six 6-core six CPU running at 3.5 GHz. The same core to thread count makes for some very interesting details. i5s have been pretty well known for not offering multi-threading. This would mean that if we are seeing an i5, Intel could easily be jumping up their cores on most of their CPUs. We could also be seeing a 6-core 12-thread Coffee Lake i7 CPU. To top it off, rumors have Coffee Lake launching more towards August instead of early next year. Basically, if this is true, it's honestly great news for everyone. Great news for Ryzen fans is games will almost certainly take notice to more cores if flat out everyone has them. And obviously for Intel fans to move up to higher core counts. Really, it's quite clear Intel was shaken up by Ryzen once again if this is true. And I don't want to just be known as a rumor channel or anything like that, I just think it's a really interesting topic to cover. The last segment sees a huge company listening to their fans, or at least their fans' wallets. It's no secret Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the latest release in Activision's most popular franchise, didn't get great feedback from fans. While it still sold fairly well, all things considered, it saw upwards of a 50% drop in sales from Black Ops 3. That's a difference no company can ignore. Comparatively, Battlefield 1's World War 1 style game had quite the huge draw, seeing Call of Duty players coming over. Well, apparently Activision has listened, and instead of pursuing a futuristic setting with jetpacks and space travel, we're going back to World War II. It was officially announced as a countdown clock and is going to be called Call of Duty 2. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's Call of Duty WW2, World War II, and will be officially discussed on Wednesday. Now, this is old news, I can hear you say, but we actually have some leaked marketing material. The cool thing here is that a co-op mode that's quote, a standalone game experience, and also a new and original story. That sounds like a possible new type of co-op mode other than the traditional Nazi zombies. Obviously this could be anything, but it's nice nonetheless. So what do you think about today's news? Happy to see Call of Duty returning to its roots, and who could this GDDR6 client be? Could this be the upcoming Volta, and what do you think about Intel, if it's true, finally stepping up in core count, almost certainly thanks to added pressure from competition? Let me know in the comments below. Lastly, before I go, I want to run this by all of you and see what you thought. While trying to work on a Patreon page, not really to release very soon or anything, but just to see how I like the platform. While I was trying to come up with cool incentives to encourage users to support the channel, I got to thinking of tons of comments I get about specific builds or recommendations, and even some who've actually contacted me about building their PC for them. Basically, I was thinking of offering a couple options like that. First would be something for the person who actually wants me to build the full system. I could work with them throughout the process with component suggestions based on their budget and wants from a build, then actually build it, install the software, etc. 
Or, for a good bit less, I could help them with all the parts and any questions they have, suggestions, and while they build it, I could answer any questions on the process while they're actually doing it. Once again, it's just an idea, and I'd obviously have to look into good liability insurance and all that, but from all the comments and questions I get, I feel like it's something people could really use, and it would help me take less hours at work and focus more on not just that, but even the channel. I do know that some people do this, but it's usually just the building of it and is normally super expensive, but even if I didn't build it myself, to just be there with any questions or anything I think would be beneficial. But let me know what you think, and if you are interested for yourself, I have more kinks to work out, but email me at build at gamermeld.com. Consider it kind of an early run. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.